The cry of the rebellion, when and where did it really happen? Welcome back to our discussions in the readings in the Philippine history and this is Sir June, your philosophy and social science mentor. Today, we shall be talking about that particular controversy in the history of the Philippines in which we are going to discuss and revisit some of the primary sources about the first cry of the rebellion. But if you're still new to my channel, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe para ma-updated ka sa lahat ng videos na aking i-upload. So, i-click na rin yung notification bell down there para ma-updated ka pag may mga videos akong i-upload. So, tara na! Simulan na natin. The cry of the rebellion or El Grito de Rebellion in the 19th century was the beginning of the Philippine Revolution that aimed to overthrow the Spanish government here in the Philippines. It happened in August 1896, somewhere in the northeast of Manila, in which Andres Bonifacio led the declaration of their rebellion against the Spanish colonial power. However, controversy about this particular event actually arises, especially on the specific dates and places where this crime particularly happened. According to Teodoro Agoncillo, the event goes on when Andres Bonifacio led the tearing of the cedulas in front of the Katiponeros. And uh, some writers, on the other hand, identify the cry in which Emilio Aguinaldo commissioned a hymno de Balintawak to inspire the renewed struggle after the pact of the, the, of the Biak Nabato failed. So there was also this idea of the cry of Balintawak or the idea of the cry of Pugadlawin. So this is now the controversy. Which is which? Which is the truth? Where did it really happen? Was it in Balintawak? Or when did it really happen? Ngayon, bibistahin natin itong dalawang sources. And the first source was coming from Guillermo Masangkay. The second source was coming from Io Balinsuela. So titingnan natin kung ano yung mga sinasabi nila tungkol sa first cry of the rebellion. According to the account of Guillermo Masangkay, on August 26, a big meeting was held in Balintawak at the house of Apolonio Samson, then cabeza of that barrio of Caloocan. Among those who attended, I remember, were Bonifacio, Emilio Jacinto, Aguedo del Rosario, Thomas Rimillo, Brigio Pantas, Teodoro Plata, Pio Valenzuela, Enrique Pacheco, and Francis Carrion. They were all leaders of the Katimpunan, and composed the board of directors of the organization, delegates from Bulacan, Cabanatuan, Cavite, and Morong were also present. At about 9 o'clock in the morning, in the morning of August 26, the meeting was opened with Andres Bonifacio presiding and Emilio Jacinto acting as secretary. The purpose was to discuss when the uprising was to take place. Eudoro Plata, Bricio Pantas, and P. Valenzuela were all opposed to starting the revolution too early. Andres Bonifacio, sensing that he would lose in the discussion then, left the session hall and talked to the people who were waiting outside for the result of the meeting of the leaders. He told the people that the leaders were arguing against starting the revolution early and appealed to them in fiery speech which he said, you remember the fate of our countrymen who were shot in Bagumbayan. Should we return to the towns now, the Spaniards will only shoot us. Our organization has been discovered and we are all marked men. If we don't start the uprising, the Spaniards will get us anyway. What then do you say? Revolt, the people shouted as one. Bonifacio then asked the people to give a pledge that they were to revolt. He told them that the sign of slavery of the Filipinos were the cedula tax charged to each citizen. If it is true that you are ready to revolt, I want you to destroy your cedulas. It will be a sign that all of us have declared our severance from the Spaniards. This source was also cited by Gregorio Saide and Sonia Saide in their book on the documentary sources of the Philippine history. So this was coming from Guillermo Masangkay and definitely the document would actually tell us that it was uh, the, the cry of rebellion was in Balintawak. That's why they called it the cry of 
Balintawak. On the other hand, the account of Pio Valenzuela actually tells us a different story because uh, Valenzuela actually writes that it was not happened in Balintawak but it was happened in Pugadlawin. That's why uh, Gregorio Saide and Sonia Saide called it also as the cry of Pugadlawin. And the date that uh, Pio Valenzuela also talked about was not August 26 but actually August 20. Let's read. The first place of refuge of Andres Bonifacio, Emilio Jacinto, Procopio Bonifacio, Teodoro Plata, Aguedo del Rosario, and myself was Balintawak. The first five arriving there on August 19, and I, and on August 20, 1896. The first place where some 500 members of the Katipunan met on August 22, 1896, was the house and yard of Apolonio Sanson, at Kangkong. Aside from the persons mentioned above, among those who were there were Bricio Pantas, Alejandro Santiago, Ramon Bernardo, Apolonio Samson, and others. Here, views were only exchanged and no resolution was debated or adapted. It was at Pugadlawin, the house store, house, and yard of Juan Ramos, son of Melchora Aquino, where over 1,000 members of the Katipunan met and carried out considerable debate and discussion on August 23, 1896. The discussion was on whether or not the revolution against the Spanish government should be started on August 29, 1896. After the tumultuous meeting, many of those present tore their cedula certificates and shouted, Long live the Philippines! Long live the Philippines! Now, let us go to the analysis of these two primary sources. Who is more credible? Guillermo Masangkay or Pio Valenzuela? Definitely, in the document that we actually read, the name of Guillermo Masangkay was not mentioned. Right? Whereas, in the account of Guillermo Sankai, the name of P. Valenzuela was mentioned there, that P. Valenzuela was present of that particular event. And in the account of P. Valenzuela, he also mentioned that he was there. So in other words, it could have been that P. Valenzuela's account is more credible to tell us of the truth about the cry of the rebellion. From these two eyewitnesses accounts that we actually presented, indeed uh, there are some certain disagreements of the the witnesses, uh, there, are, there are many places mentioned, uh, Balintawak, Kangkong, Pugadlawin, and Bahay Toro, and there were different dates, 23, 24, 20, 25, 26, and so on. On the other hand, the account of Pio Valenzuela have also some inconsistencies. Why? Because during the time that uh, Valenzuela was interviewed by the Spanish investigator, he told that the cry happened in Balintawak on Wednesday of that August 26, 1896. Later on, when he wrote his memoirs of the revolution, he said that it happened in Pugadlawin on August 23, 1896. So that's why we also have to look at the inconsistencies of uh, Pio Valenzuela. It might be also that maybe uh, because he forgot the dates or something that might happen. Or maybe Valenzuela was just lying to the Spanish investigators. That's, that's also to create confusions to the Spanish investigator uh, investigation. However, according to Guerrero, Encarnacion, and Villegas, all of these places mentioned, like the Kangkong, Balintawak, Bugadlawin, and Bahay Toro, are actually the same in Balintawak. And that's uh, part of the Caloocan, and now this is already in uh, Quezon City. As for the dates, it could B, historically, that it was due to the fact that Bonifacio and his men, the Katipuneros, were actually moving from one place to another. You know, because they were actually uh, avoiding, by, uh, they, they were avoiding the troops of the Spanish government. Kasi, nabunyag kasi yung Katipunan. Supposedly, the Katipunan was a secret society that aimed to overthrow the Spanish government. But, ayun, nabunyag yun. And, the Katipuneros, like Bonifacio and his men, were now hunted by the Spanish guards. And so they have to move from one place to another to hide. For me, it doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter when did it happen. Because what matters most is that 
Bonifacio and his men started the revolution. Nung pinunit nila ang cedula, that was the beginning that the Katipunan became the revolutionary government. They separated themselves from the government of Spain. That was the beginning that they were starting to revolt against the Spanish government. Kibali, itong cry of the rebellion was the official start of the revolution against Spain. At yun yung mahalaga. Yung lugar kung saan nangyari, yung date kung saan nangyari, hindi yun mahalaga. Ang mahalaga, they have started the revolution. And because of that revolution, nagkaroon tayo ng kalayaan galing sa mga Espanyol. This is Sir June, and matuto tayo sa ating kasaysayan.